Welcome, folks. This is your first AMA in the comments. First time. And if you are watching this on the replay, feel free to ask all questions that you have in the comments, and I will get back to them ASAP. Because today's AMA, today's Ask Me Anything, is all about training in your 40s and what I'm doing that is seeing me hit PRs, like the one I hit today on my bench press at 235, which I'm still jazzed about, I'm still fired up about. And I wanna share with you the knowledge that I've learned over all the mistakes I've made over the years, now that I'm in my midlife, <laughs> as we call it. So let's just start with point number one. Okay, what am I doing to ensure that I can still go to the gym, I can still train regularly, but not be all smashed up and sore and achy every time I get up and feel miserable and cranky and still be performing better and better and better. So I've broken it down to three things that you can be doing. So I'm just going to share my screen here and we'll start with point number one. Okay. So Point number one here is refocus your goals. So this is something that as you get older, creeps up on us, right? At least it crept up on me. Man, I'm 40. Holy shit. Okay. For me, when I'm old, you know, I saw a 40 year old, 20 year old, man, you guys are old as dust. <laughs> but now I'm not that age and I realize it's not that old. Body doesn't behave like it did in your 20s. So what do you need to do in order to see gains through fitness and nutrition? Well, you need to refocus your goals. Let's just start right there. Then try and keep the same goals you had in your 20s. Like, I don't know, like in my 20s, I just wanted to get strong and jacked and I wanted to look good on the beach, right? Now there's a component of performance for my job because I was in but I was able to maintain that relatively easily. Running, push-ups, pull-ups was pretty straightforward. But I never really attained that jacked look when I was in my 20s because I wasn't focused enough like I am now. And that just comes with wisdom. So refocusing your goals. What is your actual goal? And the majority of men that I talk to that want to get fitter, that their goal is not as, I won't, I won't say selfish, but as self-centered, it's more centered around their families and longevity and being there for their family, being there so that they can be helped graduate and go to, you know, off to college and get married, et cetera, et cetera. I want to be able to sprint with my grandkids. Now I had kids a bit later, I was in my mid thirties. So I know I need to keep myself really, really, really fit because if I want to go full tilt, most 70 plus year olds can't do it. So I need to have, have a consistent amount of training that is played out over a very long time span. So what that means is I can't be going back to CrossFit and doing AMRAPs every day. I know if I were to do that, I'd be in a world of pain, okay? So with that being said, um, if you're in that boat, typically a lot of us in the military, we did a lot of training that put us in the mindset, like if you're not going hard, go home. Well, maybe you need to start refocusing that because you can still get gains, but you need to be a lot smarter about it. And what is the goal long-term? Is it longevity? Cool. Do you need to be doing AMRAPs every day for longevity? And my answer to that is no. Okay, so then that's your starting point. What do you actually wanna do? Second is increase your volume and not the intensity so case in point we just wrapped up the 30 to lean just to do 30 minutes of activity and habits for yourself so that you can lose 10 pounds without crushing yourself and the results are great i mean i did it myself i lost 10 pounds you know joe he lost five uh cody lost eight so we can see without putting a ton of effort but just consistent effort we can elicit a result that we want. So increasing the volume means basically consistency is king. If you are to use the example of push-ups, who's going to do more push-ups? Somebody that does 
let's say 20 push-ups a day every day of the of the every day of the week or somebody who goes out and does let's say 40 push-ups in a workout maybe once a week okay or maybe twice a week right twice a week they're still not getting in that 140 push-ups that that dude that's doing 20 push-ups a day is getting and it's a volume over time 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 under tension time under the bar whatever you want to call it that allows you to adapt the most over the longest period of time without getting sore and beat up that's where the wisdom comes in okay and then lastly now i made a point during that 30 to lean challenge that i'm going to implement a strict 9 30 bedtime that's hard for me i like going to bed at like 10 10 30. so was i 100 percent consistent on it no but I know, okay, come 9.30, come 9 o'clock, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I better get to bed. I don't want to let myself down. Because I know when I wake up at around 5, 5.30, if I'm going to bed at 10, 10.30, I don't feel as sharp. But when I go to bed at 9.30, I, I wake up, I'm sharp. I can go to the gym, I can do everything that I need to do, and I can get some stuff done for the business. So therefore, my recovery time, so around eight hours of sleep is a must. Whereas when I was younger, I could get by on six hours, I can get by on five hours, I can get by on seven hours. But now... That's almost a non-negotiable. I have to go to bed early. Additionally, I need to be hitting cold showers. I do some extra sauna work. I go see my massage therapist. I take recovery seriously. I eat really, really well, much better than I did in my 20s. These are all components of recovery. So I also monitor my recovery on my watch and on my phone to see where I'm at. I want to make sure if I'm going to hit a workout, I want to make sure that I'm recovered well enough so that I can actually perform well. So it doesn't mean going full tilt, high intensity every time, far from it. It means I need to make sure I'm recovered before I go into something that may be really strenuous. So those are the three main things that I'm recommending for you. I'd love to know what you feel about this. And if you have any questions moving forward, please feel free to drop them in the comments. And I'd love to hear about some PRs. If you guys are hitting some PRs and you got some other nuggets of information that could really help the community, please feel free to drop them in the comments right here. And let's get fit together. Let's thrive into our 40s, 50s, and 60s. Let's look like those Greek gods, those, those philosophers like Socrates, Plato, that were jacked into their 60s and 70s. That was the norm. You don't need to become decrepit just because you're old. We just accepted that as a limiting belief. All right, that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thanks for being a member of the group. Don't forget, train hard, fight easy. And if you check the link here that I've posted, which I'm hoping is showing up, you can get access to everything that I'm doing, which includes podcasts, blogs, free resources. We're dropping a podcast, or I'm dropping a podcast today with an awesome guest, Nico Mayer, about decentralized thinking and um, getting a grip of your mindset. And we've got some awesome guests coming down the pipe, namely Delta Force, former Sergeant Major on Monday, Tom Satterley. We've got Cynthia Thurlow, a, a huge influencer in the States, who is a nurse practitioner who loves talking about fasting and especially for women as well. And that's coming up in October. So if to the Heart to Go podcast, please do so. The link is there in the link tree link that I dropped. And make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to drop a comment and a review that goes so far in helping promote the podcast because don't forget this is free information from some of the best minds on the planet around fitness and health and we're slowly getting to the number one podcast on the planet for alternative health for veterans and that is really cool and that's all thanks to you all right guys that's it for me be well peace